Guys, they said Faropo almost shed tears as Ianifa and custodian of Odua Sacred Forest explain why they will not be involved in a fight between Ifa and Oni of Ife because they said Kabiesi have cried to uh, the custodian and the Ianifa to help him that he acknowledged that he has fell on his promise he have uh, done uh, he have done something that is against the gods and from the look of things they said Ifa have started showing a sign of anger on him small small <laughs> so when they when they said uh, Paropo and Kabiesi and some elders went to see uh, the custodian of Odua Sacred Forest to see if there's anything they can do because they have tried everything. They have invited some notable seers from other countries and yet there is no hope. And they believe that since the custodian is the one who knows much about the tree, that sacred tree and other things, uh, that he must find, he must do something. There is something he can do to help them. You know, Ilyanifa on his own have said that Kabiesi knows what to do. And unless he do it, that she is not coming back. There is no how Kabiesi will make Kwinaomi angry. And all these other old cargoes he gathered in his palace will be happy, gallivanting everywhere, showing themselves as the Oloris. Why Kwinaomi, which is the original queen that he presented to the gods, will be angry being in kind of isolation or being in kind of hiding and everything that she is not returning until Kabiesi does what he, she told him to do. Because according to her, they say she have told Kabiesi what to do, which is to let all these women go if she, if he really wants to uh, maintain the throne and stay long in that throne. So he, she have said her own and she stayed and she said she's not coming. So they went to Odua Sacred Forest to meet the custodian. And they said, when custodian tried everything he knows how to do, he told them that there is nothing that any covenant made under that sacred tree is irreversible. They said he told them of a story of which uh, Kabiesi's father, Paropo, also said that he have heard something of that nature, you know, because he's an elder. Mm -hmm. So according to that custodian, he said that it was his father who told him that story. That many years ago, in the same Ilei Feu, many years ago, that there was this uh, ruling, uh, one of those ruling families, you know, the ruling house. You know that in Ilei Feu, they have about four ruling uh, houses, of which Gisi and Lafogidi is two of them, then plus the other two. But he did not make mention of the particular ruling house that uh, make that oath, uh, that took that oath under the uh, sacred forest. But he said that th those days, as many years, centuries ago, that at a time when it was that family's turn to be the king, uh, they did not allow them because they don't have able-bodied people. That will fight for them. Just like what they said the Lafogidi house was doing to other ruling houses in Ileife, you know. But they said the custodian did not make mention of the particular ruling house that suffered that uh, humiliation. So they said that man came. It was his turn. But these same people who have been intimidating them, humiliating them, taking away their rights from them, it, uh, wanted to do it again when it is their turn to rule as a king in Ileife. They said this man came to the sacred forest. He's, he's not a king already, but he's blue-blooded. And you, from the information we gathered, they said that tree, even though it is meant for king, but as blue-blooded, you can go there and make a wish or uh, take an oath or have a covenant with a fact. One thing they said that tree will do for you is, you see that covenant you had with Ifa? Ifa is going to keep their own part of the bargain. But if you fail your own, you are going to pay with your life. There is no two ways about it, you know? So when this man came and begged under that tree that if only Ifa will make him to be the king 
as in to make the kinship to return back to their family, that after his own tenor, that he is not going to do as these other people have been doing, that it is going to be rotational. It is going to be shifting from one ruling house to the other. That was what they said the man promised Ifa under that sacred tree. If only Ifa will make him to be the king. That was what they said the man wished for. Uh, he shared, I think they said he shed blood, I don't know, but there was a kind of covenant under that sacred tree. And as God may have it, few weeks after that uh, covenant with the uh, Ifa under the sacred, uh, for sacred forest, as the sacred tree under in the Odua forest, they said that he was able to become the king. How it happened, nobody knew. The only thing is that he became king and his tenor was very smooth. He did well in his tenor. Then, almost at the time that he was getting too old, you know, normally when he passed on, the thing is supposed to be rotational as he promised, you know. So they said a message came to the, the then custodian of Odua Sacred Forest that that man is nurturing a bad thing in his mind and what was that that he wanted to pass that throne to his own son and you know as a king then he has the power to do it you know and the judging from what other people have been doing to them he can do it and it will stand but for the fact that he have made a promise to a fact under that sacred tree that he is not going to continue the way other people are doing which affected his own ruling house, that it is going to be rotational. The fact have made it that it is going to be rotational because that is what comes out of his mouth, you know? So when he started nurturing that in his mind, they said he have not discussed it with anybody. The then custodian went to the palace to go and tell him that the gods are saying that this is what you are planning, that if you ever nurture, if you ever have a mind of that thing, that it is going to affect you. And it's like they said the man have only one son. He wanted to pass the throne to that one son. The moment he became serious about it, within a twinkle of, of an eye, he lost that son. They said the son cried just like that. And few weeks after the son cried him, he just cried his own. And that was how the throne was transferred to another place. And they said ever since then, they have been having one serious from one problem to the other in his own family. Until I don't know if they closed the uh, 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 the lineage. I don't know, but they said it was a serious case. And when they were trying to see if there's anything they can do about it, there was nothing. That was why they said this particular custodian was telling KBC that you still have opportunity, you still have time. All you need to do is to let these people go and stay with the person you you presented to the Ifa as your wife, and you have peace of mind. But if you think you cherish these people more than your life and your throne. Go ahead. That at this point, there is nothing he can do about it. They say, Paro shed tears. And throughout the time that this man was telling them all of this story, they said, uh, Paro did not, as in, you will see that the man is, you know, in a very hot seat, you know. Hmm, this life, eh. Don't forget that these are all alleged information, okay? Always bear that in mind. That is what we are hearing. If it is true, I do not know. If it is not, I do not know. Share this video and give my video a thumbs up. Bye.